Hello everybody, Dokkan Assets here in the spirit of getting hyped for Worldwide and everybody's excitement for the hopefully return of the GOAT Vegito Blue as a brand new LR for the Worldwide Celebration. I wanted to do a Vegito Blue themed animation analysis video. But the problem was, uh, I have kind of covered basically the main Vegito Blues in the game, right? I mean, I guess we do still have technically the Fizz one and the Tech one. And I may do a video on just the two of them at some point. But obviously, the big boy himself, Tech Vegito Blue, I did a video on him when he got a easy A a fat minute ago for the anniversary. Which I guess, technically, funny enough, Global just got uh, pretty recently, actually. But... I figured because we are getting hyped for the boy Vegito Blue, this would actually be an interesting time to go back and take a look at the boy STR Vegito Blue. You guys know I like taking a look at these older Dokkan essays to kind of see how they've evolved over time and take a look at them in comparison to modern day essays. So not only do we actually have for this video a comparison of the original animations next to the actual Dokkan animations, uh, but I'm also going to be watching the animations on Dokkan World's video because I looked far and wide and I could not find somebody who just uploaded the essays of these because they never actually uploaded it to the official Dokkan Twitter, which is usually what I yoink it from for these videos and then upload it to my channel. So we're just going to use the Vegito Blue Super Attack here because he gets an 18 key and then a 12 key in this video. As well, as I always like to say, because these are older essays, right, not only can we not hold them to the same standard as modern essays when we're taking a look at these, I also always like to compare them in terms of date to this bad boy right here. We have the boy AGL Metal Cooler, right, which I always consider in my videos to kind of be the gold standard of the first unit that kind of got the big boy animation treatment he was sort of what i guess you would consider modern animations to be the first right and he came out october 18th um october 18th october 31st 2018 excuse me and as you can see the boy bejito buru came out quite a bit before that you can see he came out the 23rd of march 2018 so a couple of months before the boy metal cooler so obviously his animations are not necessarily going to have the same kind of you know modern aesthetic look right kind of style that we expect from units that came after metal cooler however it will still be very interesting to take a look at his animations nonetheless so let's go ahead and take a quick look through them here first we'll look at them at normal speed and then we'll kind of go through them very very slowly again we're literally just using dokkan's rainbow dokkan's dokkan world's rainbow showcase for this bad boy how much of course i'll leave linked in the description below now, obviously, this essay is very, very basic, right? When you're looking at this one, and especially uh, here in a second where we're about to see the 12 key super attack, both of these animations are very, very basic, right? And I will say, despite how basic they are, um, I do think that, interestingly enough, they do a pretty good job of capturing the sort of original spirit of the animations um, that Vegito Blue kind of whips out for us here. So let's go ahead and just look at them in the slow speed. By the way, I always do like to say this before I start these videos, I am by no means a professional or anything like that when it comes to animation. I just look at Dokkan essays all the time, and I also look at the funny assets 24-7. So your boy has a good idea of what makes some good looking Dokkan essays, baby. So let's go ahead and hop in here. We will skip past the actual like uh, startup of the essay for plan. So starting us off here, right, we have the introduction of Vegito himself into the super attack, which interestingly enough, I'm sure most of you will recognize this as Fizz Vegito. However, not only are they reusing this because, I mean, it kind of just makes sense for the scene that Vegito is kind of coming in for, and it sort of just looks like the way that Vegito would be flying towards the screen. I mean, it makes sense, I suppose, because not only was this a free-to-play unit from, like we established in the beginning of the, idiot, the video, excuse me, right, 2018 in March, um, this guy also was just, you know, a piece of art that they 
could already use. So you have Vegito Blue fly in with this little effect. I do like that at least for this, right, even though it is quite literally just a PNG kind of flying towards the screen, it's nice that they have that little um, kind of like pulse effect, I guess is what you would sort of call it, right? Um, where once Vegito kind of enters the frame, um, he has that little like sort of effect there, right, like that. That is pretty nice little touch, right? And kind of just makes it feel a little bit more impactful. I'm not sure if, you know, back then this was them kind of trying to emulate the whole, um, like, moving forward quickly sort of look that they do very well in a lot of modern super attacks. Or if this was just kind of like to catch your eye. But nonetheless, it's still pretty cool. Um, and obviously after that we have Vegito Blue's card art, um, which of course is a certified Dokkan classic. We have a couple of punches and kicks, right? That's nothing too crazy to write home about, but obviously during this time, these Dokkan sprites were used pretty heavily in this way. Um, and I think that they do a fairly good job again for the time of just kind of conveying like the battle scenes that are sort of happening in this section, right? The quick punch, punch, hit him into the ground and kick him away, right? Then we have a do a uh, nice little fade to white as Vegito comes in. I do like this little shot of him kind of sliding in. Um, and then of course we have the actual punch, which I always found this a little bit jarring personally that like he comes in and then they basically just cut to him like already being wound up for the punch. I just always thought it was a little bit awkward, but I mean, I suppose it works. And obviously this is just a static PNG where it transitions into this one of Vegito then punching forward with this very anime-esque background before BAM knocking into the enemy and obviously knocking him through a couple of rocks there with a little electricity effect around him as well. Now again, this is a super basic essay, right? But the reason why I say I think that this is pretty cool for the time is let's take a look at this bad boy compared to the original animation here, right? If we take a look at this comparatively, honestly... Oh wait, hold on, he has the 12 key first. Hold on, <laughs> skip past that for the moment. Ignore that you saw that. The, wipe it from your mind, bro. I'm gonna hit you with the men in black little pen that they have, bro. Anyway, so as you can see here, right? The first punch and then the kick away, right? Let's actually look at this in slow-mo because I think it'll be a little bit easier to uh, digest that way. So obviously, it's not as like close up as a lot of the other, you know, well, I mean, a lot of the other, a lot of the more modern Dokkan animations. But I think it definitely tries to capture the spirit of what's going on here, right? We have the fun, the funny punch from Vegito, right? And then, of course, they kind of knock him into the ground in Dokkan to keep it some consistency. I don't know if the scene where um, Zamasu gets punched in the face by Vegito immediately leads into that. I don't remember if that's the case or if that's just cut. If it is, then that's even better. But regardless, though, Dokkan just kind of keeps the continuity with that, right? And obviously, that's kind of what they were referencing is that Vegito punches Zamasu. And then, of course, getting smashed into the ground. And as you can see, right, kicking him away, which is cool that they keep the essence of that, right? With him flying forward, right? Obviously, he doesn't fly forward in the... Um, actual anime, he kind of slides backward. I suppose that's Dokkan sort of ad-libbing a little bit there. But I mean, to be fair, um, it wouldn't really make sense for him to slide backward in like the context of the essay, I suppose. But still, I guess, including sliding. But nonetheless, right, obviously this particular part right here is the punch, right? And obviously Dokkan didn't have the crazy animations like it does nowadays. So it's cool that if anything, right, even though it is just a simple basically one frame into the next one they still kind of keep the essence of the scene alive right with obviously um the big old punch from the boy vegito blue and then this is of course where he would you know clash fists with samasu and even for this right you can see that of course the enemy sprite will be the enemy sprite and will be mega stinky as we're pretty much used to by this point but vegito blue obviously in the exact same pose as he is in the anime obviously with this one with the enemy sprite kind of flying away instead of you know, clashing his fist with Samasu. So still pretty cool. And again, even though it is quite an old essay, it still keeps the general, um, you know, I feel like just kind of feel of the original animation or maybe more like the um, just kind of like paying homage to it in the best way that they could at the time, right? It still captures the essence of it. I do wonder if with the new Vegito Blue, um, if we will see this animation a little bit more, because I feel like we haven't really seen this particular scene proper with the funny zoom in and Vegito screaming there. Um, I feel like we have not seen that as much. I think there might be some reference to that in Tech Vegito, if I'm remembering that correctly. Um, but I digress, right? It would be really cool to see that in the new one. However, it's nice to see that at least even with this older essay, they still kind of, you know, keep the original um, sort of like feel there, right? 
And then, of course, we have this classic 12 key animation. Let's make this bad boy go a little bit more slower. Okay, it is good, good, good. So we obviously have this one being an additional super this time um, because, of course, yeah, I couldn't find another regular 12 key in the video. But we basically just have a little bit of an anime effect down to Vegito, which I actually quite like this, even though this is something that is super simple, right? And I don't even know if it was necessary. They could have just had Vegito staying there. I love this little beginning portion of this essay where um, they have the kind of anime-esque speed lines running down the screen, which then leads to Vegito coming into frame. And even they don't even really like properly slide him into frame. I guess I can't say properly because that makes it sound like they're doing it wrong. But as you can see, right, like in the middle of this, um, they have a little bit of like a white flash, which is what actually transitions Vegito into the frame, right? As you can see there, bam, and they kind of have him move down a little bit. But it's cool, right? And it's definitely a nice little introduction into the scene to make this just that much more a little bit spicy, right? Besides that, though, um, obviously with this animation, we of course have um, Vegito Blue kind of waving his hand as Amasu, which of course is a classic Vegito move, the classic hand wave like this, right? Um, very, very cool, right? Definitely like um, the way that that turned out. Obviously, even though it is a small sprite, it definitely works really well. And then they kind of have this very like ominous sort of like black background kind of thing going on here um or they have goku there i mean obviously that's just because that's who he's fighting but the sprite just kind of gets a little bit more in the frame as vegito backs up which of course makes sense for the context of this because um you have the enemy character kind of fly forward here with vegito just standing there in this little spotlight and of course the card are appearing on the screen and the screen hitting with basically like a first person vegito sword is kind of what this is supposed to be right it's supposed to be the energy coming out of his hand which is really cool and then of course going to the white screen with the classic uh bald doesn't matter what character it is every character gets turned into krillin <laughs> every single character gets turned into krillin no matter who they are they become bald when they get faced the might of vegito but yeah obviously this is really cool with of course like the silhouette um, of the characters and Vegito kind of stabbing through the enemy before they sort of just fly back. And this is a great way, by the way, to use like the generic um, Dokkan like black and white character that they have that kind of just represents when an enemy gets hit around that they use a lot more on like older animations to their advantage, right? To kind of make this feel really cool with obviously the sword extending out and then Vegito bringing it back to his hand um, before obviously letting the enemy go. And as well, again, right, if we take a look at this compared to the anime, you can see again, right, even though obviously this is a very close-up shot of Vegito kind of giving a little hand wave there, um, Dokkan still does a pretty decent job with kind of capturing the essence of this, right? Obviously, it is a little bit differently done to kind of flow a little bit better with Dokkan, but it still captures the general scene, right, of, of course, the sword forming in Vegito's hand, right? Obviously, that's kind of reminiscent of that little spark in Dokkan there. And then, of course, the black and white sort of silhouette effect. Obviously, Zamasu's more clear because, I mean, it's, of course, it's the anime and not, you know, like just the generic Dokkan sprite, but it definitely does a very good job of capturing the essence of the original animation, so. And it is cool because they kind of add in that little bit of the extra part there um, of him, like, bringing the blade back um, because I think in the anime version that doesn't actually happen. I don't remember if it does. Maybe it's just cut for this. Uh, but regardless, though, it's very well done in Dokkan with Vegito kind of finishing off the animation. I like that a lot. Even, you know, they could have just had, like, this shot, right? And then had the enemy fly off the screen and then cut right to the Cybermen, right? Rather than having the extra part of Vegito retracting the blade. But it's still a cool little extra bit. So, yeah! I know this was obviously a little bit of a shorter one, but of course these animations are a lot easier to kind of take a look at and digest because of course they're not the big beefy modern animations. And of course for this LR, um, you know, he only has two of course because, you know, no active skill. Um, I mean, it makes sense for the times. But this is still a really, really cool unit, right? I definitely really like Vegito. Of course, a lot of people really, really love this unit. I mean, he was the first LR Vegito Blue in the game. And obviously, this was a character that a lot of people were really, really waiting for when it came to um, Dokkan Battle. Because, I mean, obviously, Vegito was kind of fresh in the anime at the time um, when, you know, the initial hype around him as a unit was kind of starting up. So, yeah, very, very cool stuff. Let me know what you think of the boy STR Vegito. Obviously, his animations have certainly not aged that well. I think that much is pretty much clear, right? I don't think that there is any denying that. 
Um, but not only is it cool to go back and kind of check out some of these old Dokkan animations and see what they were rocking, it's nice to see that even back then, right, when they only had this simple stuff that they could do, they were still doing their best to kind of keep the spirit of the original animation present to the point where we are at now, where we literally have like anime accurate, sometimes even improved on the anime versions of these animations. Personally, I think that is really, really cool. But yeah, let me know if you are excited for Worldwide. Let me know if you're excited for hopefully the boy Vegito Buru. And if you think that any of these animations will maybe get a little bit of a revamp um, when it comes to a new version of the character because obviously a lot of his stuff has been used for a couple different Vegitos that we've had But certainly they could go back and do some of this old stuff And I still think that they could probably take some stuff from games and whatnot as well But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching I really really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next one. Dokkan assets out. Peace